Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, we're gonna build an agentic AI tool that is powered by MCP and also has role-based access control. So you can secure your AI agent with role-based access control. And that is very important when you're working, you know, within an enterprise where you're building system, which are going to be used by different set of people and different set of users on different level of accesses. And this is what we're going to see in this video. So if you look at here on my screen, I have this app called AI Agent with MCP and Rayback or RBAC or role based access control. Okay. Now we'll first see AI agent with MCP because most of you even don't know how to build AI agent or agentic system. I use this word interchangeably in this video, AI agents and agentic AI, but there are fundamental differences. Uh, AI agent is more of following your set instructions. Agentic AI system has more autonomy, right? Uh, when we talk about agentic AI system, we are mostly talking about multi-agent workflows, okay, which has more autonomy, as I said, and AI agent is still follow set of instructions, okay, which is more rigid, has less autonomy in it. Now, this MCP and Rayback or role-based access control is what the agenda of this video. How do we build agentic system with MCP tools? And that too also has RBAC or role-based access control. And we're going to use PyCastBain. So PyCastBain, if you look at here, it says an authorization library that supports access control models like ACL, role-based accesses, and ABAC in Python. Uh, that's what it is. If you look at here, all the language supported by Caspian uh, over here, the major languages like Java, Go, Python, .NET, Rust, Caspian, CPP, etc., etc. So it has all the supported models. It has access control list. You know, it has role-based access control, attribute-based access control. You know, deny override and priority and restful and whatnot. How it works is we define them as a config file, and then I'll show that in a little bit. And the model is defined in a config file, uh, and then we basically use that within our agentic system. So we're gonna use Caspian. So let me show you over here. This is a high-level architecture that you see. It has different layer. It has a front end layer. So we have built this React UI app that you see. This is the app that we have built. Uh, React UI app that you see over here, built in uh, white and tailwind CSS. Now it has a chat interface. It has your document list. When I say document, these are basically some tasks that agent will do to create some documents. And I'll show you that. And some permission metrics. So here we have the permissions. Look at the permission matrix, the role-based access controls. Let's say you're working in an organization. Your manager will come and say, okay, uh, we have admin, we have editor, we have viewer. And you have built a chatbot, agent powered chatbot. This chatbot is now has to go through these privileges, privilege accesses, okay. Uh, of admin, editor, viewer, admin will have all the accesses mostly, editor will have certain access, viewer will have certain access and so on and so forth. So this role-based access control is enforced using PyCaspin. Okay, each role had specific permissions for document operations. The AI agent check these permissions before executing any action. So we are bringing up these kind of, uh, you know, policies. We are enforcing these policies, uh, you know, using PyCaspin, and that's what we are doing. So it has a permission matrix. Now, we have an API server layer because we have built a very modular and reusable APIs using fast API. So we have our get users, get permissions, list documents, and querying the uh, chatbot via agent. That's what we have, right? We have an AI agent API. So this is what we have, you can see. Now we have an AI agent layer. This agent is basically following a design pattern called React. Reason act observation. So basically it has reason and act loop, right? That's what we are seeing. And I'll show you. I'm using a LLM called GPT-40 as a large language model. You can use any other model. We'll go go gonna we are going to see the code, we are going to look at the demo and everything. Okay, but this architecture is important for you to understand. Now this React agent basically going to use tools, and these tools are basically our MCP clients. Now uh, that you see HTTP plus SSE, okay, we have this streamable server side uh, endpoints. That's what we have. Our MCP server layer is running on port 8765. You can see it. 
okay here mcp http server tool executor and document tool it has your core services check the permissions perform the crud, op crud operations like create read update delete it has your role based access control it has your document storage in json it has uh, you know your read write accesses to this document and you can perform multiple tasks now there is an external service which is basically your llm layer which is is using gpt 4.0 this is a high level architecture. This is a very advanced app, guys. This is an advanced app, advanced topic where we are building agentic system with MCP tools and also enforcing role based access controls. That's the agenda of it. Now, this is how the code looks like. Okay, so I'll show you in this back end. Let me show you this thing. We have a back end folder, we have a front end folder, we have a data folder. I have a, a script file here a cell script and the thing is it's already available in my github repository you can see it's called ai agent with mcp tools that's what we have tools and role based access control okay everything is here you can see key features uh, you know overview system architecture role permissions you can see admin can do everything editor can only editor cannot delete only admin can delete and viewer cannot create update and you can only read so these role based permissions are really important when you are building agentic system within an enterprise right that's what it is you can see we have three default users elise bob and charlie elise is our admin full access to all operations bob is the editor can create read and update documents but cannot delete it and charlie is just the viewers the only role based accesses uh, read based accesses we have technology stack we have front end you know so on and so forth okay server side uh, streaming support that you see here event support okay now this is you can go through it let's have a look at the code a little bit okay so we have our backend in backend there are multiple subfolders we have agent we have api we have mcp we have rayback rbac whatever and storage let's first look at rbac so in rbac there are model.config so if you look at this is how you define request definition r equal to subject object act action okay uh, policy definition and role definition and this is how we how it ha happens is through this policy.csv so in this policy.csv you can see admin can create read update delete this is the p uh, admin here look at the editor you can document can only create read and update and viewer can only read and this is where the name of it elias bob and charlie this is how you define the csv file policy.csv okay now this policy.csv you can see the uh, policy definition is was p request definition it was r g is what role definitions this is how you define it you can read more about pycaspin on their github repository i'll give the link in description i'll show you this manager.py file so i have this class here called rbac manager that you see it says provides role based access control using a caspin enforcer so we are enforcing the caspin here policies in a sliced with model and policy files model.config and policy.csv check underscore permission locks grant deny and returns boolean value with a true or false and retrieves user so let me show you that check permission we have over here okay if has permission permission granted else permission denied you can see return has permission now get user role basically get the general get all users and get permission very simple file rbac manager.py and you can read more about you know uh, pycast been here the very fantastic library that is available for you so this is how you define it see uh, caspin is acls this is how you define and this is how you define the name elise can read data one bob can read data two and so on and so forth so pycaspin basically this authorization library that supports access control models and that you can use it in your agentic system your gen ai system your llm system whatever you are building that's really powerful this is my rbac manager.py so this is my rbac folder storage is there that's a document storage okay that you see i have a data document folder here this data document folder that you see data documents now it basically load our index save our index create the document you can see this is how we create the document it has some metadata over here that you see and i'll show you this agent is going to create these documents just performing some tasks for us now here we have an mcp so let me show you the mcp thing so we have mcp client mcp server so if you look at the mcp server we are using uh, you know uh fast api over here you can see fast api request this is how we are writing mcp http server 
We are using RBAC Manager, this config we are using, and this policy CSV, create a document storage and document tools. We have some decorators. This is simple, just to show running. It lists the tools and this calls the tools. You can see it over here. Body.get user, body.get tool, body.get arguments, tasks ID, and this our function over here, the stream functions that is stream. So this is our MCP server. Similarly, we have MCP client also because it has to get the server from 8765 port. This client basically connects with the server and perform all the tasks. So basically, if you are new to MCP, watch my MCP playlist. I'll give the link in description of this video. Then we have document tools. Document tools. Go through this document tool. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay. Uh, about this. Now API. We have this fast API over here. So I'm not going that deep into fast API. You can read about it. I'll just show you the agent thing. This is our Langchain agent. So we're using Langchain here to build this agent. And we have an agent executor. The reason we are using React for this bit, Langchain for this video is because we can use default create React agent module in Langchain agents that you see it over here. And then we are calling the MCP from MCP folder, MCP client, MCP client. So we have an MCP agent, you see Langchain MCP agent. Here we are giving the allies as our default user because allies, allies are the admin. We are using chat open AI models, GPT-40. My API key is in this ENB file that you see. Okay. Now, I get the MCP client running over here on 8765. This you Okay. Langchain agent is in a slice for the user and create Langchain tools. You can see we're using MCP client to create document. The tool is created. Read document functions, update document functions, delete document functions. There are different CRUD operations we are doing. The agent can do it basically. Right. And it's basically all printed. You can see the tools available, a very good prompt template. You know, we have over here for React. You know, it's going to look at the actions and so on and so forth and then just call it. So this is how our code looks like, guys, for agent agentic system. Front end is built in React. I'm not going that deep into it. This is our startup file that you see. You can, if you run this, you know, it will just work. Let's come over here. I'm going to say create a create a document called project plan with content project planning document. You can see it over here. So you can see it's created project plan.json file. You see this project plan.json agent is creating. This is all our agent log. If you look at this, I want to show you, I want to focus on this because this is important. It's not about building a React agent. It's building the React agent with MCP tool that is running uh, on MCP server. And of course that enforced by uh, some RBAC policies, you know, over here. So if you look at here, I need to check if Elise has permission to create a document. Action, check permission. Action input, action create. You can look at over here, HTTP request, it calls to this and gets a permission granted. At least can create a document. So it basically granted. So we are bringing up these policies, which are really important for, you know, governance kind of a thing. If you're looking at the AI governance or agent governance system, these kind of complex systems are built using these kind of policy enforcement uh, using Caspian, PyCaspian or any other ways. There are other ways you can also enforce policies like OPA or Rego rules and whatnot. So if you look at here below, it's created. It says document project plan has been successfully created with the content project plan. So agent are is agent is able to create it. You know this uh, for this user called Elise, and you can see the document is over here. Project plan dot JSON. You can see it says document project plan has been successfully created with the content project planning document. Okay. Now this document is also visible here. You can also refresh it. You can see the document is created. Just for your storage purposes, I'm showing. Okay, so this document is also available here. Okay, now next thing. I also have created some questions just for quickly, you know, uh, doing it. Okay, so we can also delete. Uh, we can delete the document here. Okay, so let's uh, come and say delete the document project plan. So delete the document project plan. Again, it will run it. You can see, same thing. Okay, uh, I have the final answer success message deleted. Okay, so you can see the document has been successfully deleted. Okay, you can see that no, no document is found. So for this particular user, it's able to do it. Okay, uh, for this Elise. So this is how we're bringing so You are currently logged in as Elise. I can help you manage document based on your role permissions. What do you like to do? And the permissions, you know, are over here. You can see this. This has to be changed a bit. Maybe this, I have to use better emojis for this. But this is what it is. Okay, we're currently logged in as Elise, you can see. Okay. 
there can be different questions you can keep on asking okay create a document we have editor user bob okay uh, we can also you know do that so this is how you can see this is how it's working right uh, and this of course this is deleted this is not there the data is getting deleted now so now this agent is basically able to kind of use this role based access controls using pycast bin and of course with the mcp tools that we are using as a mcp server as a tool and our agent is able to follow those things that is what i wanted to show you in this that the power of mcp tools with a uh, role based access control how you can build this complex systems okay you can you can do that i mean that's not a not that's a rocket science now uh, for anyone to build it okay so you can keep on trying like this for like right now this will keep on work, uh, keep on checking out and keep on saying that it will work okay uh, if you look at check my permissions it will check your permissions okay uh, you can see elise document delete true you can see success you can keep on interacting with it elise has permissions to create read update and delete document that's what it is now i'll leave up to you to kind of play with this tool this already open source uh, i have made this repo as an open source repo if you have any question thoughts or feedback you know related to this uh, let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels if you have any questions related to this repository or this project or this concept i'm happy to help uh, you know on, on this one okay so this is what i wanted to cover in this video guys everything will be available this architecture this demo app you know you have this modular code with you everything is there go and play around it if you want to contribute to this repo please let me know okay by creating a, a pr just raise a pr over here and i will see if we can merge that pr right this is really important if you are working in an startup or an enterprise mainly in the bigger corporates and enterprises you'll be building these kind of systems okay uh, so this is what i wanted to cover in this video i hope you like this okay if you like the video please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in your future right that's all for this video thank you so much for watching see you in the next one